It's Dollar Tree time, time to grab some flora foam, and look, oh, these spooky eyeballs are perfect. And let's go ahead and grab some of these old bones here. They look great. Spookiest of all, look at this spider. Ooh, that's going to be great for our project. Let's go ahead and grab painted cauldron on the bottom, and we're going to need a board. This is what's going to hold our project together on the bottom. Flip it over, and we're going to put some glue, good adhesive on the bottom. But while it's drying, I need some hot glue to hold it in place. We're going to go ahead and flip that back over, and it's going to set up. Next, remember that floral foam? We're going to take one and a quarter inch pipe, and we're going to just push it right through the middle. We need this to hold that up. It just pops right through. Again, taking the same adhesive that we used before, put it in the corners. We're going to need to glue this down. Again, I did use some hot glue to hold it in place while the adhesive adheres. We're going to do this with two of these floral foams. We need to build up a good base. Just stick those together and then take that pipe, stick it right in the middle, and I'll show you what that's for later. The next thing I did was grab some green fairy lights. These are perfect and inexpensive. Now, take two clear cups and remember those eyeballs? Get those handy and ready to go. We're going to take the fairy lights and put them all around the cup and then place it right inside the next one. And you'll see the magic with that later. Take those eye bulbs, drill a little hole in the back, and we're gonna take the fairy lights and put one light in each of these light bulbs. Now to hold these in place, we'll just put a little hot glue in the bottom and it'll hold it right there. Next, the battery pack for the fairy lights, we're gonna hot glue it on the back of that cauldron. Next, it's expanding foam. I went ahead and went with the big gap foam. That is perfect for what we need. Go ahead and just put that everywhere and anywhere. Don't worry if you cover up the pipe, we'll move that later. So just keep going. Move it away out of the pipe. We're gonna need that open. Then we're gonna put some of that expanding foam on the lid. It looks like our little cauldron is boiling over. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna put a little bit on the base right there. Look at that. We're gonna stick our little spider there. It's gonna adhere really good. Now take that cup with the lights, put it right there. We're going to place some of these eyeballs, but I'm going to put some more floral foam in there. That's a good filler, so I don't have to use a lot of expanding foam. Put it all around the edge and let's fill her back up. Now take that foam, put it all over the base and remember those eyeballs, let's put them in place. They're random. This is it. And we're going to put some of these bones in place too. Just make it look cool. I got a little eight inch cauldrons. On the bottom of these plastic bowls, we need to cut out a one inch hole for our pipe. Use a little drill, pop it through, and you're going to do that to all three of them. Perfect little hole right there. Next, we're going to do is put two little drill holes on the sides. That is what's going to help adhere it to the pipe. I got a one inch pipe right here. I painted the top. Don't worry about the bottom. Remember that base? It slides right in there. Take that hole in the cauldron, and you're going to place it right on top of the pipe and down it goes. We're gonna put that in place, but we wanna tip it over, make sure it looks like it's pouring out. So take some zip ties, put it through the holes, and you're gonna pull one side through. You're gonna do that with all three after you cut that excess off. Just pull them right on down, put the third one on. Now at the top, make sure it's level and put a zip tie there. It's time for more lights too. We're gonna take these fairy lights and put them on there and glue this on the back of that cauldron. Next, we're gonna take some foam and just start filling up all of these little cauldrons. Add some bones and some eyeballs. Once we get them full and it looks like it's spilling over, we're gonna take it outside and get it ready for display. Doesn't that look great? But as night comes, watch this, voila. You've got you a spooky little design right there. And remember that cup? We're gonna fill it with water and put some dry ice in there. Look at that. It makes a wonderful sound and it, what amazing special effect. You just created a witch's cauldron. Spilling over and it looks so yummy to all them little spookies and ghouls coming up to go trick or treating. Christmas ornaments. This is a time they're going to come in really handy. So I've taken some of these ornaments and I'm giving them a nice light coat of white flat spray paint. 
I picked up this cauldron that sits on a base and all of these fun colored ornaments. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut a piece of cardboard that will go right around here. I happen to have this cardboard box and I'm going to set that down in there. You can put any kind of a cardboard box in here to raise it up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use some low temp glue and then I'm going to glue that so that it will not move around. I'm ready to get started and I have this Dollar Tree pumpkin. What I'm going to do is just break this apart because I want to just fill in a little space before I start gluing my ornaments in. So I'm going to pick some small ones, maybe not too small, like so along the edge. So you're just going to glue this to the sides of your cauldron and then you're going to glue it to uh, the glue, the ornaments to each other. Don't be skimpy with your hot glue. Add some glue anywhere that they are going to be touching another ornament. And again, don't worry about the glue. We can peel it off later. And you're just gonna hold it there for a few minutes until it sets up. Don't worry about the, the top of the ornament showing because I'm gonna show you how we're gonna hide those later and add another spooky effect to it. So I told you we were not done. And that's because I got these great little battery operated spider lights. And what I'm going to do is just tuck them down in between our bubbles, which are our ornaments. So I added my spiders all over. I made sure that my last spider is right here and the cord just comes right down along our black cauldron and there's enough of the cord that this is going to go on the bottom of our cauldron. I have this heavy duty stick on Velcro and I'm going to stick it right on the back. So here is my cord coming down. I've tucked it inside the edge of the cauldron base and put the other piece of the Velcro. So I'm going to be able to stick this right up here and tuck that cord up and I will still be able to push the button to change the settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish that up. I look forward to sharing this on my table at my Halloween party that I'll be showcasing right here with a bunch of other ideas right here on Home Talk in just a couple of weeks. So stay tuned, keep looking, and I'll see you next time right here on Home Talk.